Hey, what's up? How you guys doing out there? Welcome back once again to the motherboards.org YouTube channel. Glad to see you here. It's me, Elric Ferris, your host, and today we're going to do an unboxing of one of MSI's latest motherboards. This is their X79A GD65 8D motherboard featuring Military 3 class hardware and a lot of other features that we'll get into in the unboxing. That said, let's jump right in and see what comes inside the box. All right, folks, so like usual in an unboxing, we're going to uh, take a look at the outside of the box. We'll start over here. We can see this motherboard says for USA, Canada, and Mexico only, and it has MSI's three-year warranty. Also has PCI Express Gene 3. This is the PCI 3.0 standard. We also have the Click BIOS 2. This is the UEFI BIOS that uses your mouse to click on it. You guys all know about that. Now we're going to hop over to the top where we see it's a BBB accredited business. This is the Binomial Byzantine Brotherhood. These are a bunch of angry math dudes, I'm telling you. Over here, we have the OC Genie 2. OC Genie 2, basically a one-click button, overclock, really quick. Motherboard features SLI and Crossfire. Obviously, it supports the new Core i7 Extreme processors and is the X79 chipset. I'm going to flip the box around real quick. We have their Dr. Moss 2. This is their next-gen Dr. Moss. It's double thermal protection, keeps the motherboard running very well. You also know these guys use high C caps. Solid ferrite choke, solid cap. These are all Japanese made components. They all help to keep your motherboard running cool and for a lot longer. Said before, overclocking Genie 2, one second overclocking. Then down below in the control center, you have instant overclocking. I don't know exactly how that differs from the OC Genie. I'll have to get into that into the review. We also have the supercharge, which means you can plug stuff in. Even if the motherboard is shut down in the system, it'll still charge your stuff. For audio, you have your THX True Studio Pro. Over here, once again, we're going to talk about the Click BIOS 2. It says it's the world's first UEFI and software graphical user interface. One last thing to look at in the box. They say the PCI Gen 3, two times the bandwidth. I haven't actually seen that. I guess it's theoretically possible and available, but well, I haven't actually seen it yet. One last thing. Let's just take a look right here. Get the camera to close in on that. This is actually the nomenclature for this motherboard. Now we'll just go ahead and we'll begin the actual unboxing. I'll get it out here and... Uh, don't need any knives or anything on this particular one. Just be able to pop a couple caps here. I'm just going to go ahead and flip this out. Get the camera to zoom in just so you guys can see the first thing when I open up the box. You can see everything's just sitting in here. So I'm just going to do it one piece at a time. This is a quick guide for the motherboard. Obviously, I unfold it. It's going to have a bunch of stuff, but it'll probably go off camera. Then we have the MSI Intel X79 Platforms Overclocking Guide, Extreme Power Lease. Uh, it says down here, Media Testing Center. Go ahead and just flip this up. I guess this is going to give you a lot of stuff on memory speed overclocking, system overclocking, and shows you how to use their stuff. Right here it says OC Genie, Direct OC Button, and OC Profile. So basically this is going to actually give you instructions on how to use this motherboard and overclock at the same time. Pretty good stuff. A lot of stuff in this box. Right here we have... Some SATA cables. We also have a breakout bracket in the back. These are both for, there's two eSATAs and one power here. So I guess you'll have external power on this as well. I don't know what you use it for, but I'm sure there's some application. Then we also have a cable that actually goes with that as well. So there's that. Here is a USB 3.0 breakout box right here. You can see it right here. There'll be a little blue thing on the board matching up. Stick that in there. Then we've got one, two, three more SATA cables. These are all going to be the new SATA 3. Supporting the new 6 gigabit a second transfer rate. Here's the rear I.O. It's got everything clearly marked on, which you're going to see. It has a clear CMOS button you can see there as well. Probably don't know if you guys will actually see it, but you'll see it in the board. Then we have one cable. This SLI cable, multi-GPU SLI video card link, and it's pretty far apart, so you have a lot of options on where you put the cards. I like that. I like them when they're bigger like that. It makes it easier. Another quick installation guide. This is for the OC Genie, so a lot of instructions on overclocking. These are the offset things. These go onto your motherboard, and you put them onto your case so that you can hook all the wires up. Really, really simple. I'm going to butt past that. Here's something that's kind of interesting. You guys, I'll probably bring this up just a little bit closer to the camera. 
This motherboard comes with a certificate of quality and stability. You even got a little gold seal right here, so that's pretty cool. Driver installation CD, gonna need that. The built-on quality X79A GD58D. So this motherboard's like five times past, you know, 3D. It's 8D. I've always wondered what that meant. Kind of looked at it, but I'm kind of poking fun at them. Last but not least, we have another military. This one says military class two. Up, ah, MSI. I got to pop you on this one. This motherboard says it's military class three. Just want to point that out. Military class three. Military class two. You guys, need to update your manual. Go ahead and get that off the side. Now we'll get to the heart of the matter, the motherboard. It's very well packed in here. You can see it all down in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get it and then I'll pull it out of there. Take the box off to the side. And just uh, go ahead, there's a piece of tape back here. Okay. This motherboard is one heavy sucker. Trying to hold it up is actually quite hard. So I'm gonna angle it up and start here at the top of the motherboard. We're gonna start off right here. We have CPU fan one right here. We have the first eight pin power connector here. Here's the military class. You can see that right here in the cooler there. Gonna bop over here. We have another system fan right here. All across the top, it might be hard for you guys to see it, but it says all solid caps, Dr. Moss. It has all the different stuff, but the motherboard, easy button three, high C caps, it's all up there. Then we're gonna move down. We're gonna take a look at the memory. You can see there's eight slots of memory. This is the new quad channel memory. This motherboard will support 64 gigabytes. That's right, bro, 64 gigabytes of whopping DDR3 quad channel memory. Here's the ZIF socket. This is ZIF 2011, supports all of the new Intel Extreme processors, i7, like the 3960 and others. Here's the 24 pin main power connector. Then we can also see right here that we have another fan connector here as well. Even though the one that, I, that we showed you earlier says CPU fan one, I would honestly end up probably mounting my CPU fan on this particular connector, just as a better location, I think. Moving down the board, we're gonna go down here and we'll take a look at the PCI Express slots. You can see that they're all a little bit different. This one has a click button for releasing it. This one has a prong button for clicking it, but we have one, two, three, four, five of those. And then we have a single PCIe 1X slot right here. You can see right here, this is looking really transformer in blue. This is another cooler that's on the motherboard. It actually looks really nice. Just sitting here looking at the board and the colors, I really do like it quite a bit. It's very colorful for the eyes. Here are the connectors for external stuff, including that 3.0 bracket we spoke of earlier. As you move along the board, I'm gonna to try to get this up by the camera more. You see that we have the OC Genie. That's right here. This is the power. And then we have two overclocking tools right here for increasing or decreasing the motherboard. We also have a little port right here for external USB. And also this is the power button right here. We talked about the power thing we showed in the motherboard. The external power will plug into this and then go to that external bracket that we were talking about. Now let's take a look at the SATA ports on the board. The new X79 chipset supports four native SATA 2 ports and two SATA 3 points that are the six gigabit a second transfer rate. Also, the other controller that's on the motherboard supports two SATA 3 six gigabit transfer rate a second ports as well. So altogether, you have four of the SATA 3s and two of the SATA 2s on this motherboard. Last but not least, let's bounce it around. Let's take a look at the rear I.O. The rear on this motherboard is pretty well fleshed out. You can see that it features legacy PS2 and keyboard right there. So if any of you guys got that old school stuff, it'll still work. You've got two, four, six, eight of the USB 2.0 ports and then two of the USB 3.0 ports. You also have a Firewire connection right here. Right here, it's really hard to see, but there's also a reset, the CMOS button that's right here. It's just hard to see, it's really small. For your audio, we have the SPDIF and the coaxial that are right here. These are if you want to use digital audio. For your analog audio, you have all these controllers over there. And like we said before, this motherboard supports the THX. So it's going to have 7.1 and all that good stuff that we'll get to in the review. Last but not least, we have one port. That's the RJ45 for plugging in your internet and all that other good stuff. And that's basically the unboxing of this motherboard. This is the new MSI X79A-GD658D. See you guys back here on motherboards.org for the full review.